Three, two, one, now. Okay, so it's a super simple recipe. I found it one day and I tried it out. I remember I was experimenting with different ones. It's super simple and it's like the tastiest banana bread recipe ever. I'll explain once and once only. Um, my eczema is healing a lot, but when I'm getting my hands wet a lot and like washing them and I put my latex gloves on, um, it gets irritated really easy. So that's why I cover them when I'm doing like a long cooking stream today. Okay. So all it takes is oil, sugar, egg, flour, baking soda, salt, and mashed bananas. It's like a super simple recipe and it tastes so good. I recommend anybody, if your bananas are ever going bad, make this recipe. All right, oil. I need to get like measuring cups. I just have this thing. I'm not a fan of it. I don't know how accurate it is. So we're gonna do wet ingredients first. I freeze my bananas and make smoothies. Yeah, that's another way, like another good thing to do. I, I don't, that's a good thing to do for like old bananas if you can't really make anything out of them. Um, I need to grab the sugar, the flour, the baking soda, and the salt in the bananas. Okay. And the eggs. My, um, my fridge is pretty full now. Last week you guys were commenting how empty my fridge and my pantry were. My pantry is super full. Did you see the cup of noodles? Nice. Yeah, I need to organize it. It's like super messy right now. Everything's just everywhere. My spices I've been trying to keep at the top. So we need half a cup of oil. Okay, three-fourths a cup of sugar. One and a half cups flour. Don't let me forget anything. There's not many ingredients in this, so if I mess this up, it's really embarrassing. One teaspoon baking soda. Um, actually, let's get the egg and sugar mixed first. So we need one egg. Should I try to do it with one hand? Ready? I've never done this with... Actually, no, I can't because of my little cast thing. How you doing? I'm great, Kalady. Welcome in. How you doing tonight? Um, and then we're gonna mix this with my mixer, my handy dandy mixer. This mixer backstory is a hand-me-down from my great grandma, Pampered, or I don't know if it's Pampered Chef, but it's a fancy one. I love it. My great grandma gave it to me when I was like 12, so I've had it for over 10 years. It's probably like 20 years old. Yeah, it's, oh yeah, KitchenAid, that's what it's called. Eggshells are a good source of calcium. Oh, should I just eat just a raw eggshell? Well, that's mixing. We can do the baking soda and the salt. So, one teaspoon. I'm saying it out loud. I'm a little distracted. This recipe has never failed me, except one time I mixed up baking powder with baking soda. And it was a disaster. In a mess. So are you. <laughs> Hashtag help. Help with cooking. I don't know how to bake. Just kidding. I've made this a million times in my life. Something I usually don't do though, I usually don't mix the dry ingredients first. And then like, sometimes it's like salty in one area. And then, um one area is like super bland so i do recommend mixing your dry ingredients first together um, fourth a teaspoon of salt dude i keep dropping stuff behind my oven on accident like i accidentally spill i keep my salt in a separate thing because i'm like always using salt and um, I keep, I accidentally spilled it and like it all fell behind my oven. So I'm going to have to pull out my oven soon. There's no vanilla in this recipe, which I'm a little surprised about. 
salt, and then bananas are added last. Is it that much? I mean, it tipped over and a bunch fell, so. Any cinnamon? No. Do you guys want to add cinnamon and experiment? I have nutmeg and cinnamon. We could do both. Yeah, we, we, can be, we can be a little adventurous. Maybe we could add some vanilla, too. Okay, let me get my nutmeg and cinnamon. It's going to take a second to find it. You know, I love cinnamon. I'd love to add some. Go, go, fogo, dogo. Thanks for following. Yeah, if you guys ever have any suggestions for what I'm like cooking, go for it. I might not keep up with most of the chat tonight, but I'm going to do my best to. I have my MacBook right here, so I like kind of them. Cinnamon and nutmeg. I'll do a fourth a teaspoon of cloves and then half a teaspoon of cinnamon. <laughs> Are there any family secret recipes? Oh yeah, so I was asked, I asked my mom, she told me not to share these because they're like, I, I guess we're gatekeeping them. But you guys are going to think this is really sweet. My grandma, my great grandma just passed away this last year at 98. And we made a little recipe book from like all of our family recipes. And um, there's some really sweet ones. They're like all her southern. She's she's from like New Mexico and Southern California and stuff like just south. So there's a lot of like southern recipes in here. But some really good ones. Just like a bunch of family recipes. Grammar's pineapple upside down cake. Peanut butter balls, Bacardi rum cake. Oh my god, the rum cake is so good. Um, some of these are like from other people in the family, but most of these are hers. And they're all so good. To her divinity recipe, which actually used like and things. So, <laughs> like you won't find these in an actual like cookbook because there's a little bit of a risk to them. Yeah, and it has pictures of her in here. You guys want to see my great grandmother when she was... She had to have been my age. She had to have been like in her 20s. Hello, miss. Do we look alike at all? <laughs> yeah, she was in her 20s there, I think. She looks very young. All right, and then I'm gonna do half a teaspoon. Do you guys think half a teaspoon of cinnamon is enough for like, can you ask your wife cooking half a teaspoon for a one loaf? Oh, my mom is calling me. Do you guys mind? I'm gonna go take this call really fast. Speaking of the double. sharing secret family recipes. <laughs> yeah, that's why she called. She was making sure I didn't share them. Okay, we're gonna mix this into my mixing pot and then we're gonna mix the bananas into it, which will give it like a more creamy consistency. Okay, gonna mix this in and then bananas in. We should, I need to pick up the paste so we can put this in the oven fast. That was Apprentice, wasn't it? I know for a fact that was Apprentice. Oh no, it's Go Kid, okay. 
Cooking Mama, Cooking Mama IRL, which is even better. Maybe a little bit more expensive than Cooking Mama, but I appreciate streams like this one. Yeah. With moving, I wanted to like branch out a little more and do more. Eventually, I'd like to work up to like IRL streams, but for now, cooking streams are great. <gasps> Five second roll. Okay guys, you wanna taste? Here you go, you can taste it. There you go. Hmm. Mm hmm. It tastes really good. I do taste the cinnamon. I think half a teaspoon was perfect. It's like subtle, but just enough. I made sure to wash the little um, mixer thing because I think we're going to use it later for the Avatar Day cookies. And then after you've mixed all your ingredients together, I like to scrape the edges. Yeah, see, all of it didn't get mixed in. Sometimes with this mixer, it doesn't get like everything off the sides. So one thing I don't like about this mixer, it's kind of old. Your playlist is excellent. We have a Spotify bot up right now if you'd like to add your own music to it. But the theme is um, cooking dancing music. I just like to fold it in, make sure everything's nice and properly mixed fully. And now I think we're ready to pour it in. Cooking Julian. We're cooking banana bread, Maho Mello. <laughs> if you guys can't tell, I drop everything. <laughs> I think this is like the fifth thing I've dropped this stream. Good thing I have carpet. Can you guys see what I'm doing? While this cooks, we're gonna make a margarita. This takes like an hour to cook, so it's gonna be a little while. Nice cooking stream, thanks Astro. Banana bread, ready? Should I sprinkle anything on top of it? Should we sprinkle like sugar or cinnamon on the top, you guys think? I'm thinking we sprinkle cinnamon and sugar. Oh, that was a lot of cinnamon. And I just want to sprinkle cinnamon like on the top of it. Or not cinnamon, sprinkle sugar on the top of it. Because it makes the top like nice and crispy a little bit. Okay, it like makes a nice golden brown on top. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the oven at 325 for 55 minutes. I haven't baked with this um, oven too much, so I don't know if it runs hot or not. Anticor, thank you for 23 months. Thank you. It's a very long time. Yeah, I, I have eczema, and this just protects it from uh, stuff getting on it and irritating it. It's healing. It's in the healing process. I just don't want to irritate it. Cause like, um, I've been washing dishes and stuff and it makes me really itchy. Like if I didn't touch anything, it would just heal right up. But cause I'm touching, I have contact dermatitis. And so when I touch stuff, it makes me really itchy. 
Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's healed up for the most part. It kind of got itchy on my pinky and my like index finger. I have a really bad spot there, but it's, it's healed up for the most part. It used to be like all over my back and my legs, but it's healed up the last couple months. Still scratching in your sleep. I've been sleeping with socks on my hands, so I don't. Thank you, Mohose, and I appreciate that. All right, we are finished with our banana bread. It's gotta cook for 55 minutes. Let me set a timer. I discovered 55 is like the sweet spot. I might actually set it to 50. This is big for one hour. I like to test it after 55 minutes for those of you who might use this recipe. It's not eczema, just got done with MMA training, yeah. This makes me look tough, I'm wearing like a muscle shirt and then like some hand. I feel like they'd be a little hot, like higher up if I was like actually a fighter, but. All right, let me clean all this up a little bit. Um... One eternity later. Hmm. She might be done. I don't have toothpicks, but I'm gonna use this little umbrella as a toothpick. Is she clean? I think she's done. I think my oven has like a knob. It doesn't really have exact numbers. Like I can't set it to 350 or like 325. It's like a turning knob. So I think it's done. I think it might have been more like 345 and 325. Somebody else will appreciate my wonderful loaves of bread I make them. It looks good though, right? The sugar is still on top. It didn't fully melt in. Let's try some banana bread right now. We're gonna cut right into the center of the loaf. Actually, let me put it in a pan. like to do I like to flip a pan upside down and then put whatever I make on top of it to showcase it if you're wondering I can teach you what are you trying to teach me bio that guy thanks for following How does she look? A little bit crispy on the outside, a little dark. Now the test is to cut it down the middle. How are you doing? I'm great, that guy. How are you doing tonight? Let's see if it's overdone. I think I actually cooked it a little hot. If you think this is meatloaf, I'm scared what kind of meatloaf you're cooking. This is the center. Actually looks really good and moist. She looks juicy. Mm. 
<laughs> Where did the banana go? <laughs> Mixed in. In the outside, I put sugar and cinnamon on the outside so it's really crispy. I just want to bite a bit because I'm not hungry. Ooh, it's hot. Better than Starbucks. Oh yeah, 10 out of 10. Cream cheese? Crunch mic test? No, it's soft. It's soft banana bread. Can you put slices of banana in it? Um, yeah, you could do banana chunks for sure. Sometimes I remember like a few times when I've made it, my mom asked me not to mix the banana in all the way. So like sometimes you would get, hi Krono, by the way. Sometimes you would get like little moist banana parts. I'm going to bed, good night buggy. I'm totally making banana bread this week. Do it, it's really good. I cooked this for 55 minutes. I feel like 55 minutes was perfect. I'll take a loaf. Stick it back together. After stream, I'll cover it and put it away. But yeah, overall, really beautiful, like, loaf. <sighs> okay. I love your loaves. Okay, buddy. Ray got the whole bakery.